Okay. What's going on, everybody? Free and forgiven here. Let's try this again. I keep getting phone calls and whatnot on my phone. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen the old first video, um, I suggest you go back and watch it before you finish watching this one. Um, those of you who've watched the first video, heard the story of Rita, I wanted to give you an update. Uh, shockingly, All Parrot Rescue, um, short time after I uploaded the video, actually, uh, did an article on Rita and me, which, uh, gotta give a shout out to those, uh, uh, All Parrot Rescue. Um, they do a lot of good work. Um, you know, around here, uh, Star is the big one. All Parrots, uh, on the, All Parrots are way, way from us. I'm in the Midwest, I'm in Missouri, and, uh, Star Rescue does a lot. Um, but very shocked they did that. I, I got a message that they'd actually done the article. They watched the video and did an article. I was very shocked. Um, but, uh, those of you, like, like I said, if you haven't watched the first video, go back and watch the first video. Um, because I can't, it'd be like a two hour long video to pack everything into it. Um, hey baby. As you can see, she's a lot more lovey. Yes. Mm. She loves the beard. Um. Yes, you do. You love the beard. Um, she is doing a lot better. She plays with toys now, which was a big, tough one. She and she, uh, hi baby. She's actually starting to play with harder stuff just recently. She loves plastic toys. She loves yellow toys. She loves pink toys. Mm. Kind of likes purple, which good for my wife. My wife loves purple and pink. Um, she's got more vocal in the sense of uh, she doesn't talk. She says hello, step up, upside down, and Laura. Yeah. Um, she whispers a lot. You might hear her off and on, just mumble stuff. I um, believe the people we rescue her from is because anytime she talked or yelled or, or talked or said anything or something or got loud, they beat on the cage. Because she'll whisper to you all day. You can't understand a lot of she's saying. Some of them you can make out. She try, She says kind of peekaboo real quick because there are other birds love playing peekaboo. They'll play peekaboo with you all day. Um, she is, uh, hi baby. I said her colors are looking a lot better. Uh, you can see her eyes, her eyes aren't bladder infection yellow, uh, anymore. Since we got her healthy and stuff, she's actually the golden color. You see yourself? Yeah, that's a pretty Brita, isn't it? That's a pretty girl. Her colors are a lot better, a lot more vibrant. Um, we did kind of have a rough patch. Um. We remodeled the house. My wife was, uh, well, we were pregnant. Um, we lost the baby, and through the remodel and everything, things kind of got a bit uh, chaotic. I mean, you could really feel the tension in the house, unfortunately. Um, she went back to picking at her legs and plucking her legs, which uh, she was doing that when we first rescued her, and we got her to stop, you know, but it was just lack of attention. But, uh, She's stopped doing that. Um, she's starting to get the feather growth back on her legs. It, 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 you know, um, sucked. You know, and but sometimes stuff happens, and you know, there was only so much we could do. And we, she's luckily, you know, we uh, lost our daughter a couple months ago, and so uh, things have started slightly going back to normal. Hey, baby. So. Uh, she has uh, been doing better. You know, um, she'll actually go to my wife at times and actually wants my wife, and then after a few minutes she'll freak out and she wants back to me. But she is doing better. She doesn't go after my wife. Um, she doesn't attack the cage if she goes by it. She's actually starting to come around more, which uh, compared to how she used to be, that's oh yeah, you finally said it a bit louder, peekaboo. Um, which, how she was before, was a lot better because it used to be she'd go after um, any female. Um, I mean, you can't blame her. She was abused and neglected. She was abused by a female for two years. Um, she's right around 13 now. But um, her previous owners had her for two years. So, uh, she's very beautiful. She's came quite a distance. Um, she doesn't destroy her cage anymore. Um... Every once in a while, she pulls the powder coating off. And, but, uh, oh, rah, 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 yeah, my baby. Oh, I got you. But, uh, since he's playing with toys more, she doesn't destroy her cage. Uh, it's 
Her cage is barely a year old, and it looks like it's 15 years old from her cracking all the powder coating off from us rescuing her. Uh, bye bye. And uh, FYI, I've said in other videos, it's not the brightest thing to uh, have a big bird on your shoulder, but she's very comfortable and feels very safe. Oh, there's the good spot. Yeah, she's got her favorite spot. You watch her eyes. Uh, she can, she can see her eyes start rolling up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's her favorite spot right there. Oh, yeah. But uh, out of all our birds, even the ones we've raised since they were four weeks old, or handled since they were four weeks old, and everything, you know, I trust her more than our other big birds on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. That's her favorite spot. Oh, yeah, yeah. She loves affection. She, uh, she's really come around. She used to be real iffy on touching. But all right, right now she's a little crabby because she does have some pins up in there. But uh, as you can see from the previous video, she's come a long way. Um, healthy diet. Um, people, you need to understand these are not on a whim purchases. These are not something you don't like it after a few years. You get rid of it. Birds stay in flocks for their entire life. Birds mate for life. At least, all right, take it back. Parrots, you know, uh, not not all of them, but macaws, cockatiels, cockatoos, Amazons, uh, Quakers, they mate for life. Um, you know, I know bigger birds, I don't know a whole lot about smaller birds, but I know like conures do, greys, they mate for life and they have their flock. So when you get a bird and you keep changing homes and everything and rehoming it, it doesn't have a stable flock. Um, you got to think long term on these. Uh, macaws will live up to be 100 years. A lot of people feed them seed. You cannot feed a macaw seed diet. Seed causes liver failure, kidney problems, fatty gross on organs. Seed should not be a part of a macaw diet. Um, very few species of parrots actually need seed. Um, Goffins need a little certain other birds because they need the higher fat from it but macaws and amazons oh especially amazons but they don't they need a healthy diet mix of pellets fresh fruit vegetables uh you know 70 30 mix 70 percent fortified healthy pellets 30 percent fruit and vegetables um we don't use seed for treats for the max um we actually use nuts or um we tend to do bait bur <laughs> birdie bread um, they can be kind of finicky on having broccoli, so I run it through a blender and mix it in the birdie bread and put up some carrots and peppers in there and they tear it up. Um, these are very clean animals. Um, you cannot just clean a birdcage once a year. You cannot just change the papers every once in a while, let it pile up. Their water has to be changed multiple times. Their food cannot be going stale. Um, you can't. They, they, bird cannot be, you cannot use Teflon in your home. Teflon lets off fumes that kill birds. Whether it's slowly or quickly, you know, but no matter what, it over time it kills. Same with air fresheners, candles, you know, glade plug-ins, uh, clean chemicals, I, I think I already said that one. Like in our house, there's no Teflon. There is no air fresheners, no plug-ins, all that, you know. Um, our cleaning is chemical, is vinegar, lemon juice, uh, water, and a little Dawn. Non-toxic and cleans better than most stuff you can get. And it's extremely cheap to make. Um, yeah, anybody wants the uh, recipe for the cleaner, it, it, it's really cheap. And then, of course, water. Yeah, you don't want to do straight vinegar. That's, I mean, the mistake once in the house stunk like vinegar for two weeks. But uh, it, it, it's a large responsibility. You make sacrifices. Uh, you lose a lot of room. Um, cleaning cages and place stands is very important. Um, if you have birds and don't have one or you're looking to get a bird, get a steam cleaner. Makes life very easy. Um, I can clean six and a half, seven foot tall Java tree, place stand in about five minutes. 
with their steamer. Um, cages normally don't take that long. Um, I will say for breeding season, which you don't know about breeding season, sexually mature birds, female macaws get some big nasty poop going on. They poop a lot and they poop everywhere. With our steamer on a 40 by 30, um, which is a large, it's standard macaw. We look at it as small for macaw. Um, our other Macs are in 30, uh, 48 by 36. But it's what she's comfortable with, so we didn't want to stress her out. We've had her in a 40 by 30. We got her in a new cage. Just the day she came home, she went in a new cage. But it's what she's comfortable with. That was going to be a temporary thing, but we don't want to stress her out. But uh, it took about 30, maybe 45 minutes cleaning a very icky, pardon me, hiccup uh, breeding season cage. Um, that is, uh, birds are very clean animals. They're normally not around their feces in the wild. They're on trees, you know. So you got to keep that clean. Um, the socialization aspect is big. Um, there's said, some people say a minimum of six hours. My wife and I go with eight out of cage interaction time a day with a macaw. This does not mean, you know, they gotta be chilling with you like this, you gotta be rubbing on them for eight hours, blah blah blah. It is, they need to be out of that cage, interacting with the flock. You are the flock. They're in flocks for life. They mate for life, they are in flocks for life. When a bird goes from home to home to home, they lose that stability. Um, we have another rescue's head at heart, which I'll do a video on later. Hey, Miss Rita. She's really interested by the pretty bird and the phone. Um, like I said, she's made a lot of progress. We still got time. We still got a while. She's 13 years young. Uh, like I said, Macaws live to be up to 100, so 13 years is not, you know, she's just, she's just a child. <gasps> yeah, baby. Hi. So, you know, she loves playing on the bed. Running under the covers. Oh, she loves playing under the covers. You'll hear all kinds of goofy sounds as she's running around under the covers and rolling over. And she'll run, peek her head out, and then turn around and run back under them. Um, she likes to watch TV with you if you sit on the couch. Which we figure. And she'll go to my wife a lot. If my wife's sitting on the couch watching TV, she goes right to my wife. So we're thinking the original owner, the first owner ahead of two, 10 years, was an older lady. We figure from how she talks. But we think she used to watch TV with her. Because she'll go over to my wife when we're watching TV. What you saying, pretty girl? Huh? So, like I said, her colors have really come through. Um, she's more animated, more vocal. Sometimes a little too vocal. We call her the Velociraptor because she lets out a belt like a Velociraptor at times. Um, she hates it. I trim my beard. I cut my anybody in the house. My wife, my, my boys, we cut their hair. She freaks out. I go to handle her after cutting my hair or trimming my beard, and she'll step up on me, but I'm getting bit off and on quite a few times. She, she wants me, which puffs out, and you know, the car is not that big, puffed out, aggressive uh, stance, and she'll waddle around on me. She wants to be on me, but she freaks out. Um, one of our other golfing rescues. But I like that also. Some birds are just odd on haircuts, makeup, hair color. She does it over hair color with my wife, and so does the one golf and rescue. Um, and she hates hats. Hats freak her out. But, you know, I mean, it's part of having a bird. Yeah, you make sacrifices, you know. It's not something. You just jump on board and go do and do on a whim. Um, like I said, I wanted to give you an update. Hey, baby. Yeah. Let you see how this beautiful girl is doing. She's doing a lot, lot better. Behaving a lot better, and she's enjoying life. Enjoying nuts, and she got the treat of a Brazil nut. Uh, we normally do almonds and walnuts, but we uh, came across some Brazil nuts when we were out uh, getting some grooming done on them. And uh, she eats nuts fast, but she stayed right over her food bowl and was licking the crumbs out of her food bowl for several minutes. So, she's, uh, she's come around. Um, Still going to be some work for years. We don't know if she'll ever be comfortable around women. Um, sucks, but she's got a home. And uh, we love her. You know, 
Uh, <laughs> I think 13 and already been through three homes. You know, uh, I got we have a another tragic story with one of our uh, rescues a little bit later, but uh, you know, uh, these are really long commitments, and they're they have to eat healthy. They can't have leftover scraps. They have special diets. Certain stuff will kill birds. People. Uh, if you're really looking into getting a bird, do some research and pick up some books. Uh, Barron's books are great. Um, I recommend those. Don't go searching all over the internet. So many varied opinions on there. There's stuff, it, it, some of the stuff I've read has just been appalling. Um, and there's a lot of different rescues and other people will tell you some of the stuff on there is just insanely wrong. I mean, I think uh, one of them stated minimum size cage for golf and cockatoo was 20 by 20, really. Um, some of them smaller, uh, that size from a cosmic call, minimum, minimum 40 by 30. Unless you're dealing with, like, a Hans, which, for the, if you don't know, Hans macaw, it's about the size of a cockatiel. A little bit bigger than a cockatiel, but full-blown macaw. Um, I don't know much about Spears, so... Um, I can't, I can't comment on that. Um, red front ends also need a minimum 40 by 30. Um, they need to be able to move around, stretch their wings. Um, also has to be taller so their tail doesn't drag. Get a short cage, they start bashing up, breaking off their tail and everything. Uh, dome tops work better than flat tops because they like to climb around. Um, macaws don't do well with ones on the play tops. Uh, we actually had one, it was one we got when we rescued Phoenix. And, uh, yeah, that play top didn't last long. Um, hey, baby. But, yeah, plan on getting one of these guys. Do research. Read up. Uh, and if you ever plan on selling the bird, selling a, I, I've seen a six year old blue and gold for 1200 People think they can turn around and flip these birds. It's not. Um, we'd be lucky if we could get $100 for her with her condition. Our Camilla McCall, they, uh, second generation hybrid. Uh, they go for, uh, I don't know, I think if you can track down a Camilla right now, they go for like three, anywhere from 25 to three grand. Um, we were sell Phoenix. Yeah, I said your name, Peter Dabil. Um, maybe three, four hundred bucks. Lucy, our blue and gold back there, you know, she's got a deformed beak. You know, they're still working on that. We're still trying to get it straightened back out. You know, she'd be a hard sell. You get more for the cages selling the cages birds. So people thinking, oh, if I don't like the bird, I'll get my money back. You're not getting your money back. And that's not right. You get one of these guys. Um. Uh, all reality, I'd rather give a bird to a rescue than try and sell it. Because a legitimate rescue, you know, it's got to be a legit rescue. Because um, they do a lot more. They check people's homes, they check their backgrounds, they train them on the birds, all this. Selling a bird, you never know. You know, you don't know how the person is, who they are, anything. So, like I said, just want to give you an update. Just doing much better. Just my buddy. And so, we go lots of places together. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> they call me the bird man down at the gas station down the street. And besides people with service animals, I'm the only one allowed to bring in pets. Uh, they love the birds in there, making the kids smile and happy, you know. And they actually had a competition with some of the birds up there. People installing stuff and taking pictures. Um, have taken her to church a couple times with me. The other birds I've done, we, they've held stuff which uh, needed exotic animals for vacation Bible school. Now other birds have gone, but um, she was just getting in the habit of the house, so we, did, we didn't take her to that. But uh, taking her a few times, and she is uh, just doing good. Taking her wandering around when I go up there and do stuff. So she goes for walks. All, all will do. It's very important to get sunlight. Um, but, yeah, so there you go. Uh, also, wanted to, like I said, you know, people have asking an all-parrot rescue when, you know, they did the uh, article on it. Just want to let everybody know how she's doing. Yeah, baby girl. And see that she's making progress. She's coming along. 
we still got a long road ahead of us, but we're getting there. So, uh, never again, never give up. Hey, see you guys later.